Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Groove Rider GR16 and we are paying particular attention to a pack by Daniel Le Production Zevon. Uh, I've called this whole project Zevon Sidekick Pack. Now, we're doing this, I've had the Sidekick Pack for a while. However, I've imported all the waves from that pack in a folder into Groove Rider. Now, if you're not sure how to import full folders, I made a video yesterday. I'll put a link in for that, which should pop up if you want to check it out. Anyway, so I won't go through that now because I, you know, that, that'll waste time, but it's dead easy to import a full pack in. Now, the sidekick pack, right? I'm going to take you to Daniel's website, just a sec. Let's do this, go here. So you go to Le Production Zevon, where there is a summer sale on and 50% off all sorts of stuff. If we go to products here, you can see, you can have a look at the memory collection, which is also, I mean, memory collection is brilliant. You have a quick look memory collection. There is 10 gigabytes worth, uh, 13 volumes, 24,000 samples in total. And you'll get uh, uh, a deal on that as well, I think. Anyway, if we go to products here, and we go down to this, where it says percussion, sidekick, electronic percussion. This is on sale at the bonkers price of $2.99. Okay, it's normally $5.99. It's bonkers at $5.99, it's $2.99. In this pack, right, you get sound fonts, contact three, battery, wave files, which is, I've got all the wave files, I've imported all the wave files, that's what I'm using. You also get the Nano, two, Nano Studio 2 edition, but if you just wanna buy the Nano Studio Stew edition, <laughs> the Nano Studio Stew, the Nano Studio 2 edition, you can get that for $1.49. And that gives you a bunch of Nano Studio kits. But we're looking at the WAV files in the pack. There are 809 WAV files. Now, many of them are like for multi-layering, but they all sound slightly different, which is brilliant. So that's that. And there'll be a link in for Daniel's. There's links in, always links in for the productions, everyone, if you're into this kind of old wild sci-fi stuff. But this is superb, this pack. So let us go back to our Groove Rider. Now I've got three samples started. I've got this kick, this wood, and this, this strange going on. And at the moment I'm going over four bars in this little project that we're going to be building. So it's very cool. I've also customized the interface, but you can do that anyway. You don't need to know how to do that right now. So let us go and load in another sample. So you choose an empty slot where you want to put your next sample. I'm going to choose this one here. Okay. Then what we do is we hit wave here and you'll see that it's saw. We could change that to a pulse or we can go to samples here, right? And you'll see that I already have a bunch of folders in here. Cool effects, Dean's noise, candy, data tube, drums, one shot, reflective. I'm going to do this with my hand. Go up. Sci-fi and usual sounds. And sidekick samples, right? So I'm going to click, double, double tap on the sidekick samples. Tap to open. And now here are all our samples. Now it's super easy. Very, very easy to audition these. You just click on the sample. I'm going to use my finger on this oscillator pad here. And that's the sample. So you can you can velocity layer the ones that sound similar, and each velocity hit will be. See, it says V4, V6, V5, etc. We can't velocity layer in this though. But now. I think I might use that. But the, the point being here is there are 800 samples in here. So all you need to do to locate the different ones is keep, keep stro scro strolling, scrolling till you find. One that you really like. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what we've got going on. And like I said, there are absolutely tons of these. 
let's use that one, right? So once you've selected it, it's in there. We can exit this now. And now we can start. Now you'll see a little asterisk there, like I always say with Groove Rider. Press right to save it. If you want to rename it, you press shift and right. I've done tutorials for this. Groove Rider at the moment, is, I swear, is, is probably my favorite app. So let's rename this and we can see what's great. We can see the name of the sample we're using down here in part seven, which is part seven. You'll see the sample name will change. But we're going to rename this to Effects Drama. And to do that, all we need to do is go enter. We're in part. So part. We're going to scroll up until the very end where we can label it. And we're going to call this uh, drama effects. So just tap it again and call this um, drama effects one. I think I'll call it OK. And that will rename it there. You can't put numbers in. I forgot what's drama effects, right? And then we'll change the color as well, just for fun. We'll change it to a nice yellow color. Now we can start making adjustments to this before we add it to our mix, right? So it's a bit quiet at the moment. Let's make it a bit louder. Our send effects here. is a reverb, but let's exit this. Uh, let's enter this, sorry, and go to pattern and go, or is it and utilities? It might be in utilities, I'll just check. So no, it's in pattern. So we're gonna look for, right. So send effects is hall. I'm gonna change this send effects to cathedral because it's much more ominous now everything here let's exit this everything here is independent pair pair pad all these controls and many more controls as well but so what else could we do to this let's switch the amp on We can, if we start to manipulate this now, we can change the start and an end point of that sample. We can reverse it. Let's stick with, we can re-pitch it or loop it. Let's stick with, maybe. Let's make it a bit more percussive. We can re-pitch it. We can switch a filter on, or maybe a low pass four pole. Have some envelope going on here. Now you can also, let's exit this. And remember, I'm gonna hit right to save all my settings. We can also play this with a keyboard. But you'd have to make sure that your initial picture is right. We can also play it with chords. Make sure poly is on if you're going to play this with chords. But I'm just going to stick with trigger. So I'm going to play. Yeah. I'm going to record that in one of my faux bars here. And this hit record, I'll just wait till it comes back around. I 
this one is doing all sorts of cool stuff and it's doing all sorts of cool stuff in edit mode as well tutorials for Groove Rider and dig real deep into slice mode and jump which are very cool but for now we're just going to you know play with the pack Daniel's pack so I'm going to hit right I made a few changes there obviously multi effects for each of these you can have multi effects switched on or off and these is controlled here so for example you'll see for this big kick which I'm going to increase the send effect for now it's that big cathedral reverb Awesome. If, right, multi effect is off for this. I'll leave it switched on for this. And it's on for this, but off for this. Let's just play and play with the multi effects, right? Now, all these multi effects. These multi effects can be changed as well. Okay, so I mean, you go into uh, enter the menu here and pattern, and you'll see there it says multi effects is a stereo delay. If we tap on this, we've got tape delay, high pass reverb. You can use all these as our multi effects as well. Again, for another one, I have done like stuff on this, so it's good. it's cool. So let's just write our pattern again. Remember to write always, and let's choose another pattern. So let's choose another, in fact, let's go and look for the snare because this is a sidekick and it has loads of percussion stuff in. So I'm going to, again, just hit wave to enter the oscillators. I'm going to use my finger here, go to samples. And again, I'm just going to tap on this and open it up. And we'll just scroll down now see what's going on and this will give you an idea of the size of the, the huge size of this pack it's just absolutely awesome and like i said gr16 is just absolutely one of my favorite favorite apps at the moment it really is so many cool things i think one of these kicks i actually used as a um used as a kick. Tons of cool kicks. Look at them all. If you see it, V1234, that means you can use these as velocity lays if you want to, or just use them as individual sounds, as I'm doing. God, look at them all. There's loads. 809 samples in here, guys, for $2.99. Come on. I'm looking for snares that will be named. Nice to wear. Uh, I nice just oh where we go is some snare ones. Go back a little bit to snare. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to leave this on snare. It's fine. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to change the name. 
So we can exit this and start to manipulate sound. I will turn on the uh, the ADSR, the amp, and just have that go up full for the actual snare. I will filter it though. Let's put a band pass on. And I think as well with this one, I will put one of the insert effects on. Now you can have a different, let's type on where it says effects here. You can have a different insert effect for every single pad. You see, I've got a one eight delay on this one. Punch on that, but the insert is turned off. You need to switch it insert on. So this one, I'm going to turn insert on. The first one will be punch. Distort, oh, overdrive maybe. Distortion. But I, oh, ring modulator. nice and I, I think I'll leave it on ring mod and increase the stats end with the big uh, with the big cathedral reverb on it as well now you've got a mixer as well with GR16 with uh, send effects control here as well and also solo up and mute You'll only meet it in the mix. Okay, so let's do some cool stuff with the snare. Let's go off mixer. Let's press play. Now, if we go into sequence here, we could start to say... Stairs in with our trigger. modulation Now for our next one, let's go back to trigger. Make sure we hit this, made some changes. Um, that's our snare. It says sample on it now, but it's okay. This is the modulation. Let's choose another one now. Maybe a something hi-hat-ish. I want to do some cool stuff with that. Okay, hang on a sec. Right. 
Um, wave, of course. Um, samples. Um, psychic samples. And... Exit, I'll just hit right. I'm going to switch on the amp and. Oh, I wonder. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's manipulate this and it'll, it'll give us our wave view. What about reverse on this? Let's change the end point so the reverse is quicker. Yeah. And let's let's put a load of them in. I'm going to put some of this on as well. And this time I'm also going to put an effect on this. So we'll switch the insert effects on, go to type. And I'm going to look for a free delay. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That's <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Just, what I'm going to do with this one is just hit record and put some of these in every noun. Let's stop. Okay, so we've got this. Let's now go into edit. Okay, now we're in edit mode. Now this is, you can see which bar we're on. In a, you see it say here bar one, bar two, bar three, and you can see the different the different hits. And at the moment, the one in bar three that's flashing is the one that's going to be affected by anything that we do here. If we go back to say bar one now, and I click this, this is our trigger step here and we can go, let's go into this. This is trigger step condition. Let's, we can go forward and do all sorts of cool stuff, right? Which is uh, near parent, next parent and first and all the rest of it. Or we can start to do a percentage of when this will trigger. So let's have this trigger, I don't know, 70% of the time. Let's go to our next one here and hit this. And this is what's, going to be triggering that. Let's change the percentage of that now to about 50. So go to our next step here. And you can also tap these, by the way, to access them. So let's just turn that down to about 40. So these aren't going to, these aren't going to trigger all the time now. Okay, so it's going to be hit and miss, which is nice. We'll have a bit of random stuff going on. What's this? Let's do this one as well. Maybe. And if you hold shift as well while you're doing this, you can control this in, in fine increments as well. OK, if you've got to hold shift and then use the data wheel to shift the position. Now, there's some other cool stuff we could do here. Let's choose this one, for example. And let's maybe make this one. Um, got, to, got to select it. Hang on. Let's maybe make this one 90%. But let's take this. This is the note. So let's move this note up. Let's move this one down. We're getting to kind of sci-fi stuff. Maybe with this one we can take it. Um, we'll choose this one. 
leave that one as it is. Bar one, we'll leave that one the same. And now when we play, they're not going to play all the time. And some of them will, will play at different pitches as well. Now we can also, I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. This is the length and this is velocity. So you can change velocities on all of them as well. For example, that can be quite a nice thing. This is time shifts. Watch this now if I move my data wheel. This will nudge it all off the, off the grid. This is stroke, so ratcheting. I'll show you that on a better sound. And then step conditions. And these where you can add extra notes in for polyphony. Okay, so we've only got the one note in there. But these you can add in for polyphony. For example... So you're getting closer to our C4 now. We've got two of them. And that's how that would sound. But we're going to not do that at all. Or maybe. That's how they both sound together. It's interesting, actually. Yeah, let's leave it on that. But this time, let's make the percentage of that kind of even less likely to occur. That might sound quite nice, actually. Okay, so now we can exit this and make sure we write and let's play it and see what happens. <laughs> This is Weird Bell. to sound suitably great <laughs> i love it right okay so this time with this next one oh we could use this one don't really matter i want something very kind of metallic -y and very short and snappy i'm going to show you some very cool stuff you can do with samples like this but this pack is so good so so good for this stuff right okay cool let's go into our wave here and again we'll go to samples do this with my fingers, it doesn't work so well with the mouse. And now all we need to do, we can sample it with this, but let's go. In fact, let's go to the end, just to give you an idea of how much stuff we have going on here. In fact, let me play it, so you're not getting bored. Don't forget this 800 samples here. We're on this. Oh, so many. This. Let's use this one. So we'll exit and write, and I'll go this time. What I'm going to do is go into sequence for this, and I'm just going to fill up all of them across all these four bars. <clears throat> 
And you can go up to eight bars, by the way, in GR16. But really, for sound, it's you, the sky's the limit. You can please yourself. Now, let's have a listen. Now, I'm going to press, I'm going to go back to trigger. I'm going to hold shift. And mute. Sorry, I've right, forgotten how to do this now. There's a way to solo this. The easiest way, actually, is to just go in. Go into our mixer. Right. I've soloed this, this sample. You'll see muters flashing. So if I hit that, it'll all come back in. Right, now, let's go to edit. In fact, let's do some... Let's call this Tom Tom. Because it's called Tom Tom. So we, we're keeping track. So uh, enter Tom Tom. In capitals anyway, so it doesn't matter. So Tom Tom, and let's change the color. Orange. Now if we go to sequence now, that will be orange. Great. All right, let's go into edit mode now. I'll turn it down a little bit for now. We're going to go into edit mode, and you'll see again we can do exactly the same thing with this. But now we have all these steps we can play with. Well, let's just for fun put a ratchet on this one. So we'll go to step condition, actually not condition, step stroke and when it comes back around, you'll hear that ratchet twice. There you go. Let's go to our next bar and have this ratchet three times. Let's choose this one. Have that ratchet up. So you can get like a velocity ramp going. But if I change the length of this one step here, maybe that doesn't sound quite so good on that sound, so I won't. But get the idea let's change some of these ratchets So now we've got some cool ratchet stuff going on. We can also, for example, if we go back to bar one, we can also change the actual um, note. Let's go up an octave. We could do something like that. Automate the pitch. And let's go away from this now. And let's automate this. short sample anyway. 
Okay, so we just press stop and this time we can go back to trigger now. We're going to automate the cutoff. I'll give it a bit more resonance. We're going to automate the cutoff for this. Um, so once I press record and press play, it's going to give me a four bar count in this time and I can just start to manipulate it. Let's go. Um. Awesome. Sounding good. Let's put some effects on this again. Let's um, go into our mixer and solo. Let me just find out which one it is. Let's put some effects on this. Let's turn the insert effect on. ourselves accounting and your record will stop after the cycle through so you're not you know making any more mistakes awesome stuff go to this one now let's enter and uh sorry i'm going to go into wave oh hang on before i do that before i do that let's make sure i hit right it's always it's a great habit to get into especially with groove riders it doesn't auto save okay so if you kind of go off into another project or something or load something else you're going to lose all your all your hard work and that's a shame when that happens i've, I've actually done that I've, that happened to me live like stupid idiot and actually it was an even worse stupid mistake i just actually deleted the pattern live anyway let's see i'm gonna do some cool stuff as well now let's let's scroll down what's all this fuzzy Oh, 
that. That might be better, actually. What we got here? Yeah, I like that. Let's write it straight away. Let's use that. Let's call this. Um, let's go into the name and call it. Um, what was it? Something like. I can't remember what it was called. Just to keep track of it. Effects dark. Awesome stuff. So. Effects dark. Okay. Effects dark. I keep pressing and you know with the the um caps lock and stuff. There's no need, it's all capitals. Let's change the colour, shall we, just for fun. Um okay. Now with this one we could apply some groove. We could apply some grooves to it. So again with this one, I think what I will do with this one is I'll put these in sequence them in but i'll do them alternately like this i'm not sure if the groove will work like this but theoretically it should that's bar three i'll just go to bar one bar two bar three and bar four which we'd already put in right okay so <laughs> What we've got now is we can apply different types in the same part section. Okay, so swing one. Let's choose this and increase the time. Right, you can hear that, right? Groove velocity. Random velocity. Right, brilliant. Let's turn this up a little bit as well. So we can change the groove type here. So you see you've got you're getting variations in like the timing and you're also getting variations in um we got a sample reverse here as well. What's this? No, you can't really hear it, right? But you can, your groove is really cool for anything, especially things like hi hats and stuff. This time, what we're going to do is exit this, hit right. Let's change the, let's give it some effect so we can hear it so need to turn it on Sounds like it's kind of machine-ish, you know? What can we do with the modulators for this? Let's see. Pitch to sample and hold. Cool. 
slicing all the time. But slice is, it needs a, slice needs a tutorial on its own uh, to get the best out of it. So, but jump is great. Jump will just if you hold it, if you it'll let you jump to any particular part. It doesn't matter what you're triggering on. For example, you can just play and jump. But if you hold it, you get a 16. Now, let's just write that. Don't forget to save. You don't forget to make sure if you don't want the kind of touchpad effects on, you know, wh whatever you've chosen like this, it's the, it's the stereo delay. Make sure that you disable it here in the effects. Um, or otherwise, it will be on whichever parts. See, they're all on here sort of thing. It may, be, may not want them on that. Might not want them on that. Because otherwise, it, nothing in them. They're on for those, but we could turn it off for this one. Nothing in these. They're on for that, and they're off for the kick. And we don't want them on for that as well, so you get more control, right? And key thing is always press right once you've saved. If you want to rename it, you hold shift and then hit right, choose rename pattern, and then you're good to go. But remember, and even when you do that, there'll still be a little asterisk there, so you need to hit right. Okay, let's have a listen to a few more before we go. Let's choose one for this. And let's enter our waves, go to samples. Um, sidekick samples. Oh, I like that. Do you know what? As well, because when I well, no, I wouldn't have time now. But when I arrange this, oh, by the way, if you're enjoying this, please drag the like, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please consider becoming a Patreon. Support what me and Joe do here, sound test room. I'm going to use this complex high. Wait for this. So we'll exit this. I'm going to call it complex. Oh. Okay. Let's just give it, um, I don't know, nice yellow. I like the I like playing a I love I like colourful stuff, you know. Let's make some adjustments to this, shall we? So I kind of just want this to trigger once. The idea would be here. I know exactly where I want this to trigger, so I'll go into sequence. First time on that one there. So you can exit this now. Hit right. First time on this. And then just on at the beginning of each subsequent bar sort of thing. You won't really hear it much. I want 
a delay on. Let's try a 316. Awesome. And You can let me explain something here as well. On the sample, you can choose start and end, reverse, loop, repitch. Or if you hit sample, you can either have it decimate or the boost. You can't have both. You choose one or other to do the sample manipulation. I'm going to choose uh, decimate and boost for this sound. So. That sounds really nice. That's awesome. So, guys, that's as far as I'm going to go tonight. But, I mean, $2.99, you get all these fabulous sounds. It'll be 809 of them, and we've only used, what... We pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Picked eight of those sounds. It's absolutely bloody brilliant value that is. I ain't kidding. Daniel, that is so good, mate, if you're watching. Awesome stuff. Guys, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. What we are going to do to finish uh, is arrange this sort of thing. So what we're going to do is going to mute everything. Um, in fact, we can mute. We can mute all of this stuff, right? Because we can see, and this is a, a one of the things that's important about you know naming stuff. So that when you're coming to, I know this one says sample because we didn't bother renaming it. So we're going to start. I'll just perform it basically by bringing stuff in. Uh, I won't do song mode. I've done song mode before. Um, it's it's too involved to do it again now. I really hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope you've learned something about GR16. It's absolutely my favorite app at the minute. I ain't kidding. I just absolutely love it. The things you can do, just manipulate each sound, the trigger conditions, the, oh, just awesome. The effects for each. It's lovely. It's so good. So, so enjoyable. Right. But I've got lots of cool stuff to show you for GR16 coming up. I've really learned everything now. So you uh, slice, I'll do a, a slice tutorial completely on its own. And I'll probably use another one of Daniel's samples for that as well, because that's very cool. Right. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to close this microphone down. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you all later, of course. Bless you all. And yeah, Groove Rider GR16 uh, with the Zavon Sidekick Pack. Awesome stuff. Guys, I'll see you later. I'm just going to kind of perform it now, bringing bit muting and stuff.
Thank you.